What was it like meeting uh, Michael Jordan for you? Was that pretty cool? Oh, uh, yeah, it was great. You know, um, for him, for me to meet Michael Jordan, it was like, I think it was better than the president. So this, this is the picture that took the internet by storm. So many people were wondering what happened in this particular game. Did Jordan dominate? How did LeBron James play? He's a 16 year old kid and Jordan's 38. What really happened on this day in 2002? I want to preface that there is no actual footage of this game, but this video is a story. It breaks everything down. It almost feels as though you were there and you can visually see what happened, but unfortunately, if I had the footage, I would definitely use it for this video, but literally nobody has it. And apparently it may have been burnt due to the fact that something may have happened during this game, which may never be known. But I put a ton of effort and a ton of work into this video, so I wanted to make it as feel as though you were there watching the game when LeBron James was 16 facing off against Michael Jordan. I went through the podcast In The Zone with Chris Boussard and looked at Maverick Carter who was there on that day. I went through the Knuckleheads podcast with Quinton Richardson and Darius Miles and looked at what Ron Artest said since he was there on that day. In addition to countless other interviews and countless other podcasts, the story goes into depth about how LeBron James met Michael Jordan, what happened during the pickup game, and what happened afterwards with Ron Artest and Michael Jordan, and a story about how he broke his ribs, which could have been around the same time or even on the same day. So if you enjoy these types of videos, I'd greatly appreciate if you guys could drop a like to show support. Let's aim for 3,000 likes. And if you're new around here and you enjoy these types of videos every single week, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and here's the story. Can we talk about your relationship with LeBron James? Yeah, I've seen him play. He's very talented. The first, <laughs> so I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I'm growing up and I'm watching, you know, this guy, Michael Jordan. I think all you guys know him, I think. Uh, uh, <laughs> so I'm growing up watching this guy on TV every day, and uh, I'm like, wow, you know, he's an amazing basketball player. And hopefully someday I get an opportunity to meet him. So, oh, yeah, when you first met Mike, like, how did you feel? Amazing. It was probably how guys feel when they meet LeBron. Um, I think it was my junior year of high school. I go up to Chicago and I go to a gym called Hoops where he he plays basketball in the summertime. Yeah. I was in Chicago because I got drafted, and then like you know the runs was at Hoops. And we were getting ready to leave, and we were literally walking out the door. This red Ferrari pulls down the street, and it was literally like, for LeBron and I, it was like Black Jesus was coming down the street <laughs> in a red Ferrari with a bucket cap on. I didn't know he was going to be there, but I seen him. I seen him walking towards me, and it was kind of like he was walking on air. He, I, I was, I had to, I had to pinch myself. Was, was is that My, Michael? Who? And it was, it's like, he was like black Jesus to me. Like. And Michael sat and had a conversation with us just about basketball. And I honestly don't remember anything that was said in the conversation. It was like everything just sounded like blurred out to me. Like I was listening <laughs> to God speak. It was like, I don't even remember what he was saying. And that was the first time he met Michael and myself. You're saying when he was 16, you guys would go to the Hoops Gym, the famous Hoops Gym in Chicago and play with a bunch of pros. Tell me about, about that. So we went over that spring and took LeBron, and we were kind of just like in awe, literally like in awe. It was like during the days, like all the pros would come in, like Antoine Walker, Ron Artest, and Jamal Crawford. Yeah. I was in Chicago, I got drafted, and then like, you know, the runs was at Hoops. Yeah, is this when you, is this, 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 broke, this is when you broke, broke his ribs. ribs. This is the book. Yeah, that's when it's that time. So the same first time you met him, you broke his ribs? Actually, maybe like the fifth or sixth game I played against Michael. Right. And it was an accident. Wow. It was an accident. We was going hard. It was crazy. Ron Artest was, I mean, unbelievable. I mean, he'd show up to the gym with like, Ron was just, he'd show up with like no socks on and hoop. Like, <laughs> Ron, one thing about Ron Artest, he's a hooper. He's just like, he like forgot his socks, he just hooped. So, so the fast forward. At this point, he's the best player in the league. Yeah. I broke his razor averaging 25. He's been averaging 35. He's out three months. So he was cooking everybody. You know what I'm saying? Finley was in there. Stackhouse was in there. A young LeBron was in there. Did he know of you? Well, yeah, I think he did. He, mm -hmm. you know, he, he called me a young fella, of course, yeah. uh, you know, and just basically told me to keep working at it. And someday I can get to the NBA. I was a junior in high school. So, uh, yeah. you know, I guess he told me something right and I just kept working at it. At first, it was like LeBron was this 16-year-old kid. They're like, you know, he couldn't get in the first game or two because they, they're pros. Why the hell do they care Great about a 16-year-old high, yeah, high school player? 
Who the hell is that? What yeah. difference does it make? We're here to get our work in and we're trying to get better. But then Tim would let him in at the end of the run. Yeah, I was Twan there. Twan brought him out there. That's I, why I he was there. I gave him a forearm on fast break. He was coming. He was cooking. He was cooking. He couldn't, nobody can guard him. LeBron James. At all. He couldn't guard him. I'm like, I'm getting him back. He's embarrassing us. He was out there playing. And if you watch the game, he wasn't like dominating. Yeah. He wasn't like, but he didn't stick out. You didn't go like, oh, there's a kid out there. It was like, oh, there's just another player out there. Like, you know, he got a couple buckets. <laughs> He's coming out full speed, LeBron James. Like, boom. I lay him on the floor. He get up and start cooking more. He's just tough. He's about he was about two twenty five at that time, mm. but I remember him just being tough. LeBron was nice, huh? fifteen years old, a killer. All right, but yeah, he, nobody was giving MJ a run for their money at that age. MJ was killing. What? MJ was straight. No, like MJ was he would average thirty five buying break his rib. He averaged twenty five, and he had to sit out three months because he had to recover. People forget that MJ averaged twenty five. At 38 years old, so LeBron was killing him. He, LeBron was definitely killing him. I remember. Mm. He was big and strong, and they couldn't guard him. That's yeah. how that went. Clutch points. He was definitely playing well. What was it like meeting uh, Michael Jordan for you? Was that pretty cool? Oh yeah, it was great. You know, um, for him, for me to meet Michael Jordan, I was like, I think it was better than the president. Now, how crazy is that? That is the story about how a 16 year old LeBron James faced off against Jordan who was 38 years old and still one of the better players before Ron Artest broke his ribs. And speaking of that, here is the story about how Ron Artest broke Michael Jordan's ribs, which could have been on the exact same day when LeBron James was there in 2002 as well. You know, he's playing basketball and when I get to the gym, I see Michael Jordan, so I'm, I'm ready to piss in my pants, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I don't know what to do at this point, yeah. okay? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm like, man up. <laughs> And, and now I'm like, okay, we on the court now. I'm like, all right, now it's like wartime, you know. And um, so Jordan, I was, I was denying Jordan. Jordan hit, was grabbed me like this. He holds you, yeah. and I tried to get in front of him. We was in the Chicago in the summertime playing pickup basketball. At that age, when I sense that somebody is better than me, I go into my street mode. So then, you know, my defense is pretty good. So I'm probably the best person there to guard, honestly. Mm -hmm. There's nobody else there to guard him. When I got a chance to play against Mike, immediately I'm like, I don't give up. Rat's ass. He's just as crazy as I am. Yeah. And he was talking trash. So this one time, you know, he was guard, he was posting up and he, he was holding me this way. Michael posted me up. You can't let Michael get the ball. At this point, he's the best player in the league. I knew if I let him touch the ball, he's going to score. So I cannot let him touch it. So he was holding me and I was and I moved his arm out the way. And then as I was denying him and trying to hop over his arm, because his arm got to my head strong. Yeah. I pushed his arm up and I hit him in the ribs by mistake. I, I, I remember him like this, mm. my ribs, Yeah, you yeah. know, but um, he, he had free throw line. He was at the free throw line and hit the game went up <laughs> crazy. with broken ribs. He yeah. went down and they- No, he didn't go down. Jordan's crazy. I hit him in the ribs. He holds his ribs. He takes about five seconds. Then it's his ball. And he ends the game on the jumper and he walks off. Oh and he, my God. he walks off the floor yeah. and then that was it. And then I heard, next day I hear, uh, my agent called me, you broke Michael Jordan ribs? Somebody, somebody said, you broke Michael Jordan I'm like, well, I didn't break Michael Jordan ribs. <laughs> and then the media, you know, back in the day, they was like, Ron Artez had a fight with Michael Jordan and he went crazy and broke Michael Jordan's ribs. It's crazy. So I'm like, oh yeah. boy, I'm like sick, you know, I'm like, this bad attention. Yeah. I, so I didn't go to the gym and then Michael Jordan called me and was like, hey, hey, don't worry about it. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. But the Michael Jordan I saw, and remember, he averaged 25 that year. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I broke his ribs. He averaged 25. He's been averaging 35. He's out three months. Remember yeah. how good he was playing right with yeah. the Wizards? Right. So now, yeah. just think about it. He was out three months. He had to sit out about three, two to three months to heal that rib. Right. I'm telling you, the Michael Jordan I saw in that gym, he was going to average 35. Yeah. That's and that's crazy. what killed me the most because, like, yeah. Michael's back. <laughs> I'm in the league. I, I want to see Michael th average 35. You yeah. Know? I don't. Yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Um, mm. he only averaged 25. Man, I was, wow. I, I was, I was sick to this day. Honestly, the way that Ron Artest describes Michael Jordan, it's scary to think about how good he could have been had he not broken his ribs. I mean, to think about a 38-year-old Michael Jordan dominating the league is just a scary thought. But if anybody could dominate at age 38, you would have to assume it would be MJ. Had he not broken his ribs, how many points do you think he could have averaged that season? 
But what do you guys think? Do you think that LeBron James and Michael Jordan is an amazing story? Did you have a feeling that this is what happened? That LeBron James was able to hold his own even at 16 years of age? Obviously, the way that the story is described is sort of how I imagined it. LeBron James would be able to hold his own against NBA players even at the age of 16, which you have to give him props. A 16-year-old player holding his own against guys like Ron Artest obviously shows the talent that he had because he was, once again, 16 years old. So let me know what you think about this story. Let me know how you think it was put together. And if you're not subscribed, and I know a lot of you guys are not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button for NBA content every single week. If you could hit that like button for me, that would be amazing. It helps the channel out so much. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in my next video. Hope you're doing well. Stay safe. Nick Smith.